It's time to review WatchOS 6. How's it going ladies and gentlemen? So, this is my Series 4 Apple Watch and I guess I know what you're saying. It's my daily and uh, surprisingly I've been using the beta version of WatchOS 6. And now since I had it on my device for about over a month now, this would be a great opportunity to actually go ahead and review its features and its many new improvements. It's kind of like a mini review of watchOS 6. Now currently it's on the beta 3 version of watchOS 6 and it's paired of course on my iOS 13 device. Quick note for anybody wondering, I found some people on Reddit who had no idea about this but yes, you need to have another iPhone that's running the beta version of iOS 13. If you don't do that, your Apple Watch will not connect to any device. So in other words, you will break your Apple Watch until the release is officially out. I just thought I had to say that. Now navigating watchOS 6 is no different than watchOS 5. Everything is very familiar like it was on that older OS. The ECG application looks exactly the same. Then the grid view of applications look the same as well. However, I did notice with watchOS 6, it's now capable of to be paired to your vehicle stereo system. I found this out randomly because one day, I had no lie, I actually forgot my phone at home and I had no, no way to entertain myself. So out of curiosity, I wanted to see if I could pair this thing to my car stereo system and to my surprise, it now supports it. Before I did try this, but this would never work because Apple never allowed you to. But now, you're able to actually pair your Apple Watch to your vehicle stereo system and on some Sync 3 systems, they're actually able to pair as well as a couple of people on Reddit, for example, have reported. This was a new feature that went under the radar, but with your Apple Watch, you can now actually pair it to your vehicle stereo system. And not only that, you can actually have full control to go forward or skip some tracks from your vehicle's control. This is me trying to reenact it while duct taping a GoPro to my face. Yes, I look ridiculous. I'm able to freely change the song because the Apple Watch is paired to my vehicle's stereo system, which is kind of nice. And it's stereo too. And that's another key feature about watchOS 6. This Apple Watch has never been this independent. Now I don't no longer need to actually have my phone around if I want to download an application. Because along with this update, as we all should be aware by now, we were given a few new applications like the App Store, the Calculator, which still has that uh, annoying bug. I'm sure it's going to get fixed, of course. Beta. Duh. And, of course, audiobooks. And uh, for those wondering, yes, uh, if you were listening to an audiobook on your phone, it will synchronize and you could continue where you last left off on your phone on your Apple Watch. The same works with uh, podcasts. And uh, no lie, I'm actually using audiobooks a little bit more than I used to, especially when I'm working out. Which reminds me, another feature that I really do like is this new interface for the audio control center. So. In the center where you see your pause and play before like on my series 3 we didn't have like a little progress stats right there another new integration that isn't really talked about as much is the new maps before it used to have been very inconvenient to use net maps on your apple watch but now if you're walking down the street in a big city the maps application on the apple watch alone now gives you a lot more information than ever before now you can actually skip ahead and actually see the map a little bit better and these little cards will give you push notifications and you can actually scroll ahead to see how conditions are looking like all on the Apple Watch. Then I also really like how all the settings are found on the Apple Watch. Now you no longer actually have to go on your iPhone to adjust some of these settings like the orientation. You are now able to enable or disable fog detection all off the Apple Watch like how it should have been. And now, just like your iPhone, it will automatically self-install updates at night. That's right, there's no need to wake up one day and then realize there's an update but you really don't want to wait for your watch to update. Now just like your iPhone, it will automatically do it all for you. So you don't even have to think about it anymore while you're sleeping. There's also other cool hidden features that not everybody's also talking about like if you quickly go into the settings and go to sound and haptics, scroll all the way down where it says Taptic Charms. If you select on the hour or on half an hour when this is enabled, like you see how mine is on the hour, every hour, like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, my watch will actually give me a tactic time or charm if it's unmute. I honestly at first thought this was going to be a pointless feature, but I find it very useful, especially now since I'm more aware of my time 
which means I'm getting work done a lot quicker and being more productive. This way I no longer lose track of time. Now part of the update was watchOS 6, you also get a better Siri. Siri has now been significantly enhanced. Not only can you actually ask her for music for her to identify a song, but if you ask her a topic, she will actually give you a list. And Siri can also use WebKit to show you the results. Like let's ask it about the Nintendo Switch Mini and it gives us a list and we can actually open it and it will take us to the website for us to find out more. Just unfortunately you can't ask it to go on website so if you say facebook.com it's not going to do it. You can try to get creative and find a clever way to make her search it and then open it that way. I haven't found that yet. If you do comment down below. But again externally the only big major changes is really the new watch faces. There's quite a few of them, but in my personal opinion, I think my favorite one has to be the California one, especially now with the new Beta 3 update, where before we only had three color options to choose from, but now we have a variety of different Apple Watch colors to match with the Apple Watch bands. I think Apple did this on purpose to get people to buy them more and match with their Apple Watch. Solar is another one of my favorite Apple Watch faces, since it not only allows you to read the time, but you can actually use the crown wheel to rotate to know what time will sunset take place or sunrise and it will actually show you the exact minute as you're scrolling so I know for a fact to the right person this is very useful especially for photographers I would imagine as you could quickly see what time will it be until the golden hour to take those epic shots or if you like going for walks with your pets on a not so hot or cool time of day, the golden hour is usually the best time to go out. So you may have noticed I have a variety of collection of different watch faces. I develop an arrangement where I could simply slide towards my top three during the condition or activity that I'm doing. For example, when I'm training, I usually switch to this watch face because it has my complication for my BPM, my music. And then when I'm done training and I'm out and about just casually, I switch to my infograph as it holds the most complications. And then if I'm going out with a couple of friends on an amusement park, theme park of some kind, or just want to take some photography shots, I'll switch to this swatch face for having a better understanding how long do I have until sunset or sunrise. Or I just need a calculator, I just quickly tap on it from here. Oh yeah, voice memos is another thing that got integrated. Voice memos, this application works exactly like how it should. I honestly never asked for this since there was a lot of great third parties now out there on the App Store. But now since we have it natively by Apple, it's I guess more convenient to use, especially now since it actually synchronized with your iCloud and will get forward to your iPhone. Then let us not forget the new decibel reader, that's also a new feature, a health feature for watchOS 6 and it works like a charm. Now, then many might argue, what's the point of a decibel reader? Can you just tell if something's too loud? No, not really actually. And you become distracted too uh, most of the time. If you're driving, doing construction. I benefited from this decibel reader because when you're listening to a lot of music on a road trip, I tend to usually raise the volume if the road is too boring. And before, I used to commonly do this a lot. And once I arrive at my destination, my ears start ringing. But I have noticed when I usually do that, and I do it for a long period of time, the Apple Watch will actually put, send me a push notification letting me know that, hey, uh, you've been exposed this high amount of decibels for quite a while now. If you continue, this might damage your ears. And now, ever since I started listening to the Apple Watch, I no longer experience this issue when I drive, arrive to my destination. I don't have that ringing effect anymore. And so, I truly think this is actually a really cool feature. And it's free, so what is there to hate? Other people that could definitely appreciate this if it's construction workers, it will notify you that you should probably start wearing ear protection or even when you're out and clubbing for example because trust me making a full recovery from hearing damage is impossible and I don't know about you but I don't want to have any hearing issues so this new integration is definitely one of my favorite features so name another smartwatch that has fall detection ECG and decibel monitoring also don't forget this thing actually has cycles so for women out there You'd be glad to know that Apple spent a lot of time on developing this application. From what I read online, it sends push notifications to alert you when the cycle is about to begin, so you'd be better prepared. And it just overall allows you to manage everything a lot better. Oh, and uh, also, for those wondering how do you make purchases on the App Store on your wrist, it's just like an iPhone 10 or any iPhone that doesn't have a home button. You just double tap the power button and that's it. It does require you to enter the passcode though, I can't forget about that. But this is how you pretty much make purchases and it works really well. 
Now, battery life, I'm not even gonna touch about battery life since after all, this is still a beta. But if you're still curious and wanna know what battery life I'm getting, it's this. In the morning, usually I wake up roughly around 6 a.m.-ish. And at 100%, at the end of the day, after my hour and a half workout, the heart rate monitoring is on, monitoring my calories and all that stuff. Around 10 or 11 o'clock, usually when I end my day, I'm still left with roughly around 40% battery life left, so it's okay. And of course, when the official beta is out, it should be a lot better. So stay tuned for that final review. So with all that being said, would I recommend anybody else to download this beta if they could get their hands on the profile to install this? Uh, no, unless you're okay risking breaking your Apple Watch. I have actually heard horror stories of people having issues with their Apple Watch where it actually breaks it. And some of these users actually did have iOS 13 running on their iPhone. And they were having a hard time connecting it to their phone so their Apple Watch was actually bricked. So it's not very stable. So unless you have a backup watch or you're okay risking that for these features, I wouldn't really recommend it. And it's still very buggy. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of watchOS 6. I just wanted to cover the main features, not all the little bugs or anything like that, because after all, this is still a beta. But it's still a really good improvement that has Apple going towards the right direction. Only thing we need now is third-party support for third-party watch faces. I'm sure everybody would love that. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like. And also, get subscribed if you haven't already, as I pretty much cover anything tech-related. I always just enjoy sharing it all with you guys. If you want to check out some cool applications for your Apple Watch, make sure to check out this video right here. Or if you want to find some really cool accessories for your Apple Watch, make sure to check out this video over there. I cover everything from cases, docks, all the must-have accessories for your Apple Watch. So be sure to check that out. But again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.